so we have here a small collection of Polaroid cameras. I'll make a really short uh, introduction to each one of them. Uh, it's one of my, my hobbies to buy these cameras online, collect them, test them, check how they are. Some of them work perfectly, some of them not really. Uh, the most interesting thing about buying these cameras online and negotiating about them is that some of them um, already come with original packages like this one, for example, from the 70s, some of them with original accessories or original manual instructions, this kind of thing. So I put basically all of the accessories and cameras that I have on the table. Uh, they are always changing because I'm always buying and selling them, checking how they work, how they look like. Um, I'm not a specialist in Polaroid cameras, but I had contact with some of them during the last two, three years. So I'll just make a really brief introduction and explanation of what I have here in the table. And later on, I'll put also some videos explaining more in details each model, each type of camera. Yeah. So does it mean that all the information I'm giving in the video here about the year of production or accessories are completely right? Because sometimes it's not really easy to find about this information online. And if some of you like also know a bit more or you have any kind of comments, just leave in the comments below. So let's start with this one here, that it's the Polaroid 3000 from the 70s. I organized the table in the way that we start here from the 70s and go to the 90s there. Yeah, so going through the 80s and to the 90s. Uh, this is the Polaroid 3000, let's say a really cheap camera that can, found, can be found online, everywhere at eBay. Uh, it's a plastic camera, not a premium camera from the 19. 77 as all polaroid uh, cameras basically all of them the picture goes here in front of this camera uses the s um sx70 film this film here with the iso 160 so it's not let's say a film that it's really sensitive to light as the 600 that polaroid developed later but anyway this is a cheap camera can be found i think it's also interesting to talk about talk about the values in the video uh, on the data of record of this video, I would say that this camera with this original package would cost around 15 euros at eBay. So it's not, let's say, a premium camera, quite easy to find, not all of them with the package. But I think the Polaroid original is also producing some cameras that can do exactly the same um, for, let's say, 100, 130 euros, what is also pretty cool. Yeah, but this one I, I have here also. So going further, here already go to, let's say, more premium cameras, the SX70, that's, again, film here, goes inside, same type of film. Uh, this is the first, let's say, model that was produced in 1972. This one doesn't have the fixture here for the tripod, so for this type of camera, we needed an extra accessory for the tripod. So camera is also pretty cool. This one specifically is not working really well. I cannot really explain what is the reason, but the camera just runs all the time and I put the film inside. So this is one example of cameras that you buy. They look really nice outside, but they are not, let's say, in a really good shape. Yeah, so some work needs to be done. Going further, we have like the gold version of the same camera. That's, this is really, really, really nice. One of my favorite cameras. So it's not a paint. This is what is really cool about it. It's real gold. Yeah, so it's gold plated. Camera, same system, exactly same camera, special version. We can also talk about this later in another video. Um, I also have one more of these uh, with the accessory. Yeah. So this is this strap, camera strap, it's still in the original package, really nice. Um, and the original package, this package is the original package of the normal SX70, but I put it here inside, you can also open this in the video quite fast. I will try to not make the video really long, but here we have also original accessories. Yes, for example, this warranty paper, instruction, this kind of portfolio from Polaroid. And here the original package also inside and one camera, one of these gold cameras inside this one, the leather, original leather, in a really, really good quality. Yeah, so this is what's pretty cool about it. I also have here this original case from Polaroid, also from the 70s, even with some kind of like information here of previous owners of the camera. What's also really nice, some kind of history here written in the um, leather case. 
So later on, Polaroid de uh, developed this two in the 70s, the sonar model, now that it's autofocus camera. This camera here is quite complicated to take pictures of it or to ask someone on the streets to take pictures of you because it has to be, the, the, um, the, the focus has to manually be adjusted. So it's not really easy to take pictures of it. And we have to consider that, let's say, a film for this type of cameras is quite expensive nowadays. So for eight shots, you have to spend around 18, 19 euros in the European market. So it's pretty expensive. It's not that easy to ask someone to take pictures of you. Uh, so Polaroid developed this one, was also really, really nice with the autofocus model here. I have here an empty film inside. So you can see how the autofocus work. You can also deactivate it, activate it again if you want, yeah. But let's say it's also a pretty, pretty cool camera. Yeah. So for the same model, Sonar model, Polaroid developed these uh, or produced these also gold plated camera. So I have one here also in a pretty good shape, some marks on the leather, but it's quite, let's say normal for these cameras. What is also really cool here that I have in the peak in the, um, in the table is this camera in the original package. Yeah, you still have some price tag here that I really don't know what it means, but with the original package inside with the manual of the camera. Yeah, also in a really nice shape. And the gold plated SX70 sonar inside. So also really, really nice. I was talking about price, I just forgot to mention the price of these cameras, but this can be found in the market if let's say work in a really good shape for around 150 euros, 100, maybe a bit cheaper. This one here, the price already goes up because it's, let's say, special version. So you can find it for around 700, 800 euros at eBay. And these models here, I never understood really well why, but although they have the autofocus here on the top, they are, let's say, a bit cheaper than the SX70, uh, the, the original one, the first one without autofocus. Yeah? So this, let's say, it's always 20, 30% cheaper than the SX70. Uh, also, I have this here. This is really interesting. I got here this uh, You Are the Winner. Yeah, so golden ticket from Polaroid Originals. It came in one of these films here, 600, produced by Polaroid Originals. So, uh, and with these, I got this at home, delivered to home from Polaroid Originals for free, 100% for free. What's really, really nice. I really love about these because the camera, what I really love about this camera is that it's refurbished by Polaroid Originals. So you really have the impression that it's coming out of the uh, Polaroid factory from the 70s. Pretty, pretty nice. This is this, the SX70 uh, Model 2. I never used it, so it has been with me. Um, I got this for free two months ago, never used it. And it will be one of my collection Piece. Yeah, so pretty, pretty nice, really clean. And the factory also gives you one year warranty if something goes wrong with the camera during this period. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah. So if we go further, uh, we can go to this side. There is also some kind of new accessories that can be found on the market, as for example, this one from the company Mint from Hong Kong. This is, let's say, new equipment for vintage cameras that can just be, let's say, attached here to the camera and you have, here you are ready to go. You have a really nice flash for your SX70. It also works for other types of camera, but this is, this is um, uh, developed first for the SX70 cameras. What, as I said before, the film is not really sensitive to light. So really nice to have it if you have a SX-70. If you go further now to the 80s, here I kind of mix up the cameras, I put all of them in the same place, I'm not mentioned ear by ear, but we have here the Polaroid um, Impulse Autofocus. I have two of them in two different colors, black and this type of gray. Uh, this camera is already, so let's say, also not a premium camera anymore. You can see it's, let's say, manufactured in plastic. The material, you don't have the impression and you hold it that you are holding a premium camera. But also really nice with flash here already inside with autofocus. So the camera is pretty cool. I have here also an empty film inside. Yeah, so this is 
how the camera looks like, also really nice. I have the same in black. And going a bit further, I have also the autofocus 660. What again, it's also not a premium camera, but I really like this camera, I really like the design of it. So it's also nice to have it on the way when you want to take some cool Polaroid pictures. Uh, here in front, then we go back to, the, let's say, what I call premium cameras, the fold cameras of Polaroid, that Polaroid developed also further, these fold cameras. I have here one that, let's say, is not in a really good shape. Um, I bought it to make some tests, to try to open it, see how it works. It was already not working when I bought it, so it's some, let's say, cameras that, even in this state, quite, let's say, not easy to use. It's just used for replacement parts. You can find it for around 50, 60 euros at eBay. I forgot again to mention the price of the previous cameras. You can just go back really, really fast. These ones here can be found for around 20, 25 euros in the eBay. This one here also, you put more or less the same price, 20, 25 euros. And uh, if the SLR um, 680, like this one, is working, is a special version, Although, let's say, the leather here on the bottom is not, let's say, really nice, but it's working. It's a working camera, so this you can find, let's say, prices go a bit up, goes to around 250 euros, yeah, this type of camera. Not really easy to find, but you can find some of them, yeah. Also, pretty nice camera. So this one here, for example, the leather, original leather, is in a much, much nicer situation than the previous one. So, camera, also really nice. Of course, if the leather is original, it's still in a nice, let's say, state, condition, the price go a bit up, I would say this camera can be found for around 300, 350 euros at eBay. Um, and here we can even go further, although here we have a mix, here it's still 80s, here it's already 90s, it's the only Polaroid camera I have on the table that was not produced in the United States, it was produced in Japan. This is, let's say, the same type of camera that Polaroid produced before, the SLR 680, but then Polaroid came back with the project to the 90s with the SLR 90, yeah, and this was produced in Japan. Uh, pretty rare, not really easy to find it. This camera is working perfectly, so let's say in a really nice shape camera, but not really easy to find. This one even with the original package also. Um, at eBay you can find some of these cameras coming from Japan, but they are really, really expensive. Some of them in a really good state, they look like new, but then they are around, let's say, 600, 500, 600 euros. This one here, let's say in this type of state, in the eBay Europe, you can find it for around, not easy to find, let's say sometimes, once every one month, two months, these cameras appear, you can find them for around 300 euros. Yeah, so let's say, I think it's a fair price for that. Also some interesting accessories from the SLR 680. It's for example, this leather case here, also original, really good shape, manual instruction. Also this card, not from it's really, really nice that you have here at the bottom of the card when the camera was signed by the previous owner. So here it's the um, year 87. So also really, really nice, this type of accessories that sometimes when you buy these cameras at eBay, they come with these nice accessories. It's like part of the history of these cameras. And the last one, last but not least, this is also going a bit back to the 80s. It's this special version of the Spectra. Polaroid Spectra Onyx, where we have this transparent case here. Uh, it was a special version that we can also talk about this in, let's say, next video. Uh, same stuff here. The film goes in front. It's a Spectra film, what's unfortunately not produced anymore by the Polaroid Originals um, since the end of 2019. I think the last batch is probably May or June 2019. And then the announcement came in, uh, I think, September, October, that the Polaroid Originals would not be producing this type of film further. Yeah, the main reason for this is that these cameras, they are pretty problematic when you try to shoot with these films, so they don't go out sometimes. You have the film jam, and we should not forget, we have to take into consideration that the film is really expensive, around 20 euros for eight shots. So I think 
some people are really afraid of, let's say, just putting 20 euros in the trash, trying to take shots with this, this camera. I have here one empty film of this camera. You can see that the format is a bit different from the 600 and SX70. It's a bit wider, what's also, let's say, really nice to have these wider Polaroid pictures. But yeah, this camera is quite new in my uh, collection. I just, let's say, bought the film for this. I will make a test soon when the film arrives. But as I said, the film has not been produced anymore. It means soon this camera will just a piece of the shelf. It will not be used anymore because the film is not there. Also, it also has the original uh, case here. I can even try to open because one of them yeah, is this one here even have like this pen from Polaroid, this stripe here for the camera, pretty new. It seems like it was never used. This type of camera you can also find in the market for around 70, 80 euros. I have two of them, as you can see here, also another one exactly the same inside. And this one also came with the manual, manual instructions. The small book, here what's really interesting, as I said, what I find pretty cool in this type of uh, vintage cameras that sometimes they come with part of history. Here is one of them. It costed 499 Deutsche Mark, the German marks. I don't really know how much it means in, let's say, the today's values. But anyway, it's part of the history also. Um, I have also here, I didn't mention these, we can go quite fast that the video doesn't stay really long. The self timer for the SX70 and for the SLR680. So, self timer, Polaroid, original package, original instruction. Here we have also a 600 film from Polaroid, not from Polaroid Originals, but Polaroid, quite old. I didn't find here the date, the expiration date is for sure expired. I tried to shoot one of them, it didn't work. The other one is still inside, it was a two pack. A two pack of 600 film, one is still here, closed, original. And here two from the Polaroid original, the films that are being produced nowadays. This one will hopefully continue, not like the Spectra film that has not been produced anymore. And the last accessory for the video today that this is, I found at eBay in Germany. Really interesting, it was produced in Germany. I don't know if it was licensed by Polaroid. I believe no. I don't have like any kind of information about the history of this accessory. I don't even know how it would be called uh, in English. But what is really interesting is that you can just put this accessory here in the same part of the tripod of the camera and when it is fixed so this accessory to be honest is really really rare to find really rare this really good shape you can plug it here and you are ready to shoot like this pretty useless in my opinion but anyway it's nice interesting pretty cool you can shoot it I think that's it for the video. Uh, the main reason of recording this video is also, let's say, changing some kind of experience with the people that are out there and still like this type of cameras. So if you have these cameras, if you have any comments, if you, let's say, are also interested about getting to know more about these type of cameras, uh, just leave your comments and uh, I'll do my best to reply it. Thank you very much for watching it. And yeah, it's a really nice experience to have this opportunity to share with you my passion about Polaroid cameras. And I also like would like to, to get to know some of other people that are out there trying to shoot with these vintage cameras, quite expensive nowadays, 20 euros for eight shots. So I think you have to be really passionate to keep, let's say, shooting with these vintage Polaroid cameras. That's it. Thank you.